over i z z right i just rearrange this and this is uh y over z okay so we know that m y over m z is equal to what tangent theta is equal to i y y over i z z y over z Then from here, we are going to do, we are going to sketch, okay? This is just a, 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 a sketch. We are going to sketch the orientation of the neutral axis. So the orientation of the neutral axis, okay, this is just a sketch. So this is the orientation of the neutral axis. Okay, so this is the orientation of the new axis. Okay, so the orientation of the new axis. So along this line, stress x is equal to what zero. So the orientation of the neutral axis is also measured from Z, okay? And this is Z axis and this angle is our pi, okay? So I want you all to take note that we can form, right? So before we form anything, if I take a specific point, okay, if I take a point over here, this point will have a certain uh, will have a certain y distance. Uh, wrong color. Hold on. It can make it look confusing. So it has a certain y distance. And it also have a certain z distance, right? And it's very obvious that tangent pi, right? Tangent pi is equal to y over z, right? So pi is the orientation of the neutral axis where stress z or stress not z what am i talking about stress x is equal to zero right stress x is equal to zero so from here and and uh, pi is measured and is measured from the z axis and likewise clockwise is positive counterclockwise is negative okay so from here we know that so if i'm going to call this uh equation uh three okay so we're going to substitute and here for we're going to substitute uh equation four into equation what three you realize that we have tangent Theta is equal to i y y over i z z, and this will be replaced by tangent pi. So the objective is to calculate the orientation of the neutral axis. So therefore, tangent pi is equal to i z z over i y y. A bracket multiply by tangent theta. Okay. So 
the most important thing to take note, okay, is this. Okay, the important thing to take note is a lot of times students forget. Okay, pi is measured from the z-axis. Theta clockwise is positive. Theta counterclockwise is negative, or theta is measured from the z-axis. And likewise, pi is also measured from the z-axis. Clockwise is positive. Counterclockwise is negative. Okay, once you get that right, it is very easy. Now, the next thing I want to take note is if, right, now I'm going to take this whole diagram over here. I'm going to copy. Uh, wait. I'm going to move it a bit. Now, what I want to highlight is this. If the angle is tilted like this, okay, so now the structure is tilted, right? What I want you all to realize is this axis over here, the one I'm shading in orange, the Y and the Z, right? It follows the rotation of the object. Okay, so the the global transformation follows the orientation of the object. This is important. Okay, so the one I'm drawing, so likewise the orientation, okay, is this green line or this, or the transformation. And why that is, this, why that is so, because it's, easier to determine IYY and IZZ based on the orientation of the uh, Y and Z transformation okay now it's easier because we we, we already know if i y y and i z z in this way right we know that i y y is equal to width depth cube over 12 right so we know that this is the width right and this is the what this is the depth Right. Now, what if we want to calculate? So I'm going to again, if I can paste the same diagram, I think I could. If I paste the same diagram. OK, and then I tilt the diagram. Right. So it's so much more difficult now. Right. If now I get rid of this axis, I call this X prime. And I call this Y prime. And if I were to draw the transformation now, right? And I will use a different color. I will use orange. Right? So if now, for example, if this is our Y, and then this is our what? Z, right? We know if we calculate i y y from here, it's not equal to width depth cube over twelve. Okay, mathematically, it's more what complex. So that is why, right? The what the global transformation follows the rotation of the object. Okay. 
I will, I will do a very short example. Okay, so we are going to try this example over here, right? It's a typical example to prove my point, right? So this is our uh, example number one. So example number one, we have a T section and given to us, right? The orientation of the beam is tilted 45 degrees, right? From the horizontal. So I'm going to sketch the horizontal line and I'm going to sketch in blue. Okay, this is our horizontal line. Okay, and we know that it's, tilt, it's tilted in this direction by 45 degrees. Okay, and we know, okay, I Y prime. So this is your Y prime and Z prime axis. So what, what do we know? So we know that we have uh, I Y prime is equal to 6.74 inches to power 4. And we know that we have a IZ prime, which is equal to 21.4 inches to power 4. Okay. So this question wants us to determine. Okay, we are going to determine the orientation of the neutral axis relative to the horizontal line. And that's where things get a, a bit confused. Okay, So the formula that we will use, we, we want to use, is equal to what? Tangent. Uh, pi is equal to IYY, sorry, IZZ, I forget the formula, IZZ over IYY, or IZ prime over IY prime, and multiply by tangent theta. Okay. And this formula, like what I mentioned before, is only true if we have an orientation like this. Okay. Right? So in this problem, I'm going to get rid of some stuff over here which we don't need. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this, right? So now I'm going to tilt this entire figure over here, right, to 45 degrees now. I'm going to orientate the axis exactly the same as over here. You can, you can see the axis is more or less tilted correctly, right? Okay, so now you know where is our Z and where is our prime, our, our Y, okay? So what do we know? We know this, right, given to us. We also know this. Next, we have to determine our what? Theta. And theta is relative to the moment. Okay. So when you see theta over here, this angle now is how many degrees? This is now 45 degrees. The next thing is positive or negative. Right, so it's going to be negative because it's going anticlockwise from what z. So theta we know, right? Note theta is equal to minus forty-five. Okay, 
right? Because it's going anti-clockwise and theta 